Today, we're going to explore how our nervous system controls somatic sensation. Somatic sensation refers to the body's ability to sense touch, temperature, pain, and proprioception, or our sense of body position. These sensations are crucial for our daily interactions with the environment and help keep us safe from harm. Our bodies have specialized sensory receptors for detecting different types of stimuli, whether they be mechanoreceptors, thermoreceptors, nociceptors, or proprioceptors. These receptors convert physical stimuli into electrical signals that our nervous system can understand. Once these receptors detect a stimulus, they send electrical signals through sensory neurons to the brain. Let's see how this works in various stimuli. When we touch something, mechanoreceptors in our skin send signals through sensory neurons to the somatosensory cortex within the brain, which processes touch information. Thermoreceptors detect temperature changes and send signals through sensory neurons to the brain, helping us distinguish between hot and cold. Nociceptors detect harmful stimuli, like a sharp object or extreme heat, and send pain signals to the brain, triggering a protective response. Proprioceptors in our muscles and joints send information about body position and movement to the brain, helping us maintain balance and coordination. The brain processes somatic sensory information in the somatosensory cortex, located in the parietal lobe. This area of the brain is organized like a map of the body, with different regions dedicated to processing sensations from different parts of the body. Meet the sensory homunculus. This funny-looking figure represents how much brain space is dedicated to processing sensations from different body parts. Notice how the hands, lips, and face are exaggerated? That's because these areas have a high density of sensory receptors and require more brain power to process their sensations. Somatic sensory information travels to the brain via specific pathways. One of them is the dorsal column medial lemniscal pathway, which carries signals for fine touch, vibration, and proprioception. Another one of these pathways is the spinothalamic pathway, which transmits signals for pain, temperature, and crude touch. Our sensory system can adapt to constant stimuli, a process known as sensory adaptation. For example, when you first put on a shirt, you feel it rub against your skin, but after a while, you stop noticing it. This change helps us focus on new and important changes within our environment. When somatic sensation goes wrong, it can lead to various neurological disorders. For example, in neuropathy, damage to sensory nerves cause numbness, tingling, or pain. In phantom limb pain, pain is perceived in a limb that has been amputated. In chronic pain, there's persistent pain that lasts longer than the usual recovery period.